Hey, hi, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Athena Bean and today I'm going to be going over some suggestions that I personally have for the devs. Now, I don't want anybody to take these way too seriously because these are just my own personal opinions on what I think could benefit the game, on what I think could benefit me as a player of Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now, I'm going to be going over these points as I'm sort of cleaning up my valley and doing things around my valley so let's get to it the first suggestion that i have for the devs would be to raise the item limit for those of you who don't know the item limit is in the top right corner when you go into furniture mode um the very top number the 410 out of 600 is what you see on the screen that is unique items the bottom number i am 58 items over the 3000 item limit but that is the total items that you have now that includes empty farm plots that includes rocks foliage trees decoration items that includes literally everything that is on the ground around your valley why do I want this item number to be increased? Well, I can't put anything else on the ground as of right now because I have decorated my valley to the limit of that item number. And I don't think that I'm the only one that has been requesting this over and over again. As you can see in my Forest of Valor, I had to actually stop decorating it. I have my pathing all pathed out and I can still place pathing items because the actual paths themselves are not included in that total number of items but again as you can see i had to completely stop decorating because i hit the item limit and i can't do anything else so that would be my first suggestion is to raise that item limit and make all of our lives so much easier so that we can decorate again because i have nothing else that i can delete I've deleted everything that I've wanted to delete. <laughs> and from here on out, it's just strictly decorating. So even honestly, even like 500 to a, a thousand, that would make a huge difference in my opinion. But anyway, enough of that. Moving on. The next suggestion that I have for the devs would be to implement a way to either water multiple crops at the same time or plant multiple crops at the same time or harvest multiple crops at the same time. I don't know what that would look like or how they would do that because I'm not a game dev and I may be asking way too much, but honestly, give me a water hose. Put a water hose in my hand so I can just water them all at one time. I don't want to have to constantly go one by one when I'm harvesting or only be limited to one by one when I'm planting as well. So that's another thing that I think that maybe the devs could, should implement in the future. Um, but like I said, I don't know. I'm not a game dev. I don't know how hard it is to implement that sort of feature into the game, but I think it would make everyone's life so very much easier and I would love to see something like that because as you can see, we're just planting one by one right now and this is so time consuming. I know a lot of folks to just like throw on a Netflix show in the background or throw on a movie in the background or a YouTube video in the background. And that's how they get through planting and watering and harvesting. And sometimes I just don't have the time to plant and harvest. And most of the time that's why I don't plant or harvest anything. So moving on from that, the next suggestion that I would like to make, a lot of us know that these memory fragments, if you already have them, they'll spit out a coin or coins. And I'm thinking it might be a little bit better or a cooler idea to give us moonstones oh, instead of coins. And the reason why I'm saying this is because Disney Dreamlight Valley has now implemented the premium shop and you need moonstones in order to purchase these items. I know a lot of folks do not want to spend actual money on these items. So giving us an extra way to get moonstones besides the once daily chests that pop up in our valley, I think that would benefit a lot of folks. And I know there are a lot of folks out there that play this game daily and play this game for multiple hours at a 
at a time. So if they allow us more ways to get moonstones, I think that would be a great feature for everybody. Another feature that I really think that they should implement, and I understand why they haven't to this point, but I would really love it if we could make multiple meals at the same time, especially if we're making the same meal over and over again. Now, I understand that when you auto-include ingredients, sometimes it uses different ingredients, and that that's why you can't make multiples of a specific meal. But I do think that that would absolutely make life easier for a lot of players of this game because I know a lot of us want to make sure that that yellow bar is full so that we have a little extra pep to our step as we're running around our valley doing our tasks. So I definitely think being able to make multiples of the same meal as long as we're using the same ingredients, I think that would be a great feature to have. Now, the last suggestion that I have for Disney Dreamlight Valley devs is to add more craftable items. We have been seeing the same items over and over and over again pretty much since release. Now, they have added a few items. Um, I believe these cutouts were from the Olaf update and they have included items during the October or Halloween update because um, we do have a lot of autumn related items but in my opinion that's not enough I craft a lot of items in order to fill blank spaces in my valley well not anymore because I reached that item limit but I do craft a lot of items and I would love to see more craftable items in the future because I love decorations and I would love to be able to make more decorations. I really honestly don't care about how grindy they are or what I need to get material wise. I just want to be able to have more options when it comes to not only furniture. I'm not going to complain about Scrooge's shop right now because that's a different story for a different day. But I would just love to have more craftable items. Those are items that are 100% accessible to everybody. And I think it would just be... A great new feature but that's it friends if you have any suggestions for the devs I would love to hear your thoughts and what you would love to see in Disney Dreamlight Valley so make sure to leave a comment on what your suggestions might be because I would love to talk about that and I would love to hear from you um, but if you enjoyed please make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next time friends thanks so much for watching thanks for giving me your time